welcome friends uh, in this video i am going to discuss about uh, one of the stereochemistry problem uh, which is from csi net exam so uh, this is a bicyclic system and uh, there there may be several questions which can be framed out of this uh, molecule uh, first question may be that uh, whether the molecule is chiral or not that you have to tell Second question is, uh, if the molecule is chiral, then what is the type of chirality? Uh, whether it is a central chir chirality or axial chirality or chiral plane, that you have to tell. And uh, how many chiral uh, centers are there? If there is any chi chiral center, there are, there are how many chiral centers? So, uh, to predict whether the molecule is chiral or not, uh, first we have to see how many uh, if there is any center of chirality or not now uh, if we, uh, we uh, look at the molecule carefully you can see that uh, this center cannot be chiral because you can see uh, the two sides of this center this side and this this side they are equal so the ligands are not different so this cannot be chiral and uh, you can see there is a uh, plane of symmetry so this can uh, cannot be chiral also and this this center uh, is same like this center uh, it's two arms this arm and this arm they are same so it uh, this center cannot be chiral also now the only center which is left is this center now if we look at the substituents at this particular carbon carefully you can see that there are two methyl groups groups and one CH to pH group <coughs> okay now again uh, this carbon for this carbon also there are two same groups two two of the groups are uh, the same methyl groups so uh, let us draw this center in a more elaborate way so we can write one of the representation maybe this two methyl groups are there and here you have ch to ph group now if uh, this is the confirmation this is a this is one of the confirmation and in this confirmation you can see there is a plane of symmetry this is uh, uh, this is a uh, sp2 set. both of these carbons are sp sp2 so this is actually planar these two groups see although they are different groups co2 me and coh they are different groups but they are in a plane so that's why uh, chirality is not there and if this molecule is in this particular confirmation there is a plane of symmetry uh, containing this center also so that means in this particular confirmation this is not chir uh, not chiral it will not show chirality and it is actually meso okay so this is a meso confirmation and this will not show optical activity but we can draw other confirmations of this molecule also so for example i will just draw the central part not the peripheral rings so this is our two groups co2h and this is co2me and here you have this now uh, this can be drawn like this so let's say uh, just rotate this so if we rotate this it will look like this so the methyl group will go here and the ch to ph group will go here and another methyl group will be here and another confirmation which is possible is let's say uh, here we have co2h group and here we have co2me group now uh, we previously rotated this bond in this direction. Now let's say we rotate this bond uh, in the reverse direction that is anti-clockwise manner. So then it will look like this. CH to PH. Here you have a ME group and here you have another ME group. Now you can see uh, here you cannot consider a plane of symmetry because uh, the two, uh, if we consider a plane containing this one, this car two carbons and this carbon, if we consider a plane, this pl uh, the two sides of this plane will not be equal. In this case, the two sides are equal, the symmetrical, but here it will not be symmetrical. So you uh, you cannot consider a plane uh, between this uh, uh, between the uh, not between. Uh, you ca cannot consider a plane containing this carbon, and the same is true for this one also. But if we put a mirror here 
you can see these two are isom these two isomers this one this is level a and this is b this a and b are mirror image of one another because you can see this uh, if you look at this particular site it is a perfect mirror image of this so they are uh, having mirror image relationship so they are enantiomers enantiomers but again if we just rotate the bond by rotating the bond itself we can obtain one from another that is they are actually uh, conformations of one another we know the enantiomers can be either uh, uh, conformational or configurational but in this case it is conformational and you can get uh, two enantiomers by rotating in any case but in most of the cases when we have sp3 sp3 bond that is a carbon carbon single bond that rotation is very much favorable so you cannot actually isolate uh, this type of two enantiomers by just uh, by just the rotation of bond but in this case you can isolate these two because uh, here uh, the rotation is restricted you can see due to the presence of this bulky uh, rings here and uh, these three groups this rotation is actually restricted and this is actually a case of atropisomerism where your uh, rotation across the uh, across a carbon carbon bond is restricted and uh, the case of atropisomerism is uh, generally found in bicyclic uh, system, biphenyl system, but it is also found in this type of uh, bicyclic system where you, you have con con congested structure. So this is a very good example and uh, this question may also be asked that uh, uh, how many isomers are, are possible for this particular molecule. So you can see three isomers are possible, one of them is meso and another two are the enantiomers A and B. So this is a very good example and it is from uh, one of the CSIR exam. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like the video then give thumbs up and uh, share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.